I'm not 100% sure that everybody really wants to move out on this property. Christine is, doesn't have any interest. She said that. I really would be shocked if Robin, Cody, and Mary ever end up building out here. And that's fine. I'll have a great view. I'll just build my house and have a great view. You know what I mean? <laughs> if there's no other houses out there. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. And holy moly, do we have some news for you. There has been so much talk about Coyote Pass and developing Coyote Pass. And Janelle had all of these dreams about building greenhouses. Do you remember? Like there was the fight about the property because Janelle wanted to have access to a dirt pond that was filled with prairie dog poop in order for her to like water her plants. And she wanted to have greenhouses and grow plants and harvest. And then she discussed how she had always dreamed about wanting to have a farm and wanting to raise and grow food and then have some sort of like restaurant where it would be from farm to table. Remember that? Her interest in plants and growing and gardening has been something that she's been vocal about for more than a decade that she's been on television. She is obsessed with plants. Do you remember when they were on their hike, Christine and Janelle, and they were, Christine was saying that Janelle would know every single plant as they would hike by and, and discuss what the plant was and what you could do with the plant and how even when she didn't have property of her own in Flagstaff. She went over to Garrison's and she and Gabriel like did potted plants out in his pat on his patio. Well, now that she is in North Carolina, her dreams of being a farmer are coming to fruition because she purchased, and this is massive, over 150 acres of agricultural land in Beaufort, in Beaufort County, North Carolina. The purchase was made, according to property records, at the end of March. And she's going into farming business with her daughter, Madison. This is wild, absolutely wild. So, and it's amazing, frankly. I'm glad that she's been able to do this. So the purchase, according to the records, was the deed date was made on April 1st of 2024. The price of the land that she purchased was $289,000. There does not appear to be any loan on this. And it is one wooded class, which has 111 acres, and then another wood woodland class that has 45 acres. And so it's a total of 156 acres. So she has just purchased 156 acres of agricultural, zoned agricultural land in North Carolina. And it's being zoned for their company, Tata Farms. They actually did a plot, like a, a they did a plat that they had to have approved for the build. And so the deed states that the deed was, the deed was dated on March 28th. And she was granted to Janelle, Madison, and Caleb. And they're all joint tenants. And they're all living with the address at Madison's house. So Janelle has her address listed with Maddie. So she's moved in with Maddie. And the deed was transferred for $10, which is standard. And this was originally done as a part of an approved plat that was filed earlier in March for their farm. I tried to view photographs of this and I couldn't find any. So I took the coordinates and went into Google Earth and took a look at what it was that she actually bought because I couldn't find a property listing for this. And it's heavy woods. And there's a lot of waterways in this area. So there's like swampy areas where there's like rivers and then there's lakes. 
and sort of swampy lakes. There doesn't appear to be a ton of water by the property that they purchased. However, it's almost all woods. And there's some part of this that appears to have like some of the woods cleared, but it's primarily woods and it's zoned agricultural. So I don't know if they're going to keep the woods and not plant trees or if they're going to clear some of the woods and then try to plant a garden. It looks like this area has some agriculture, but for the most part, the woods are relatively untouched. And I was looking at some properties in the area that were heavily wooded like this, and they were sold as like hunting properties. So like hunting getaways. I don't know if that's what their plan is here. It feels like they want to farm. I just don't know based on the property type, how compatible this will be to farming, what the soil is like there. I mean, clearly it's the soil is good for trees because it's heavily wooded, but it's a woodland class. So they have zoning requirements that they have to meet for that. And the land is basically split between trees. And then mixed in with that, there's like this big swamp that's kind of engulfing all of this area. So part of their property is basically swampland, which you cannot grow prop, you can't grow agriculture on that. So I don't know what they plan to do with this. Like I said, there's there's parcels around it that have basically cleared out all of the woods. There's also part areas where it appears like there's been fires and the woods have burned completely down. I don't know what it's like to buy property in North Carolina, so I can't speak to that. I happen to live in a rural part of Minnesota. I can't compare this because it's completely different to topography. It's not necessarily swampy here. There's a ton of lakes. I mean, there's lots of lakes around me. There's probably like six lakes in a co- within a couple mile radius of my house, but there's a lot of farmland. But the farmland that is sold here isn't wooded. There are some trees on it, but it's primarily just already cleared agricultural land. And when they sell the agricultural land, it's usually agricultural land, not wooded. And that's where they're farming here. And and here where I live, they, they farm a ton of, they grow a ton of soybeans and corn. We also have a bunch of berry farms around us. I mean, we have a dairy farm. We have a beef farm, like maybe a mile from our house. There's actually a couple ranches, like my neighbor across the street, her dad owns a uh, show horse ranch where they have like show horses that go to shows and they show them and they ride them those and they're trained. They do all kinds of tricks. So I've seen what agricultural purchases look like here. And it's not what these, this looks like. This purchase actually reminds me more of when someone in the northern Minnesota would buy property because it's heavily wooded there. And generally in heavily wooded areas, you don't typically farm. There's also a lot of swamps in this area, so that could also impede growth of certain, like if the soil is too wet, certain produce and certain plants won't grow. So it'll be interesting to see what she plans to do with this. They planted a bunch of like plants at Maddie's house where she's living. And she said that the growth was like super fast and she wasn't used to it and whatever. And it also seems like whatever they're doing this with, they, they, aren't, they aren't currently doing anything because Janelle is nowhere in North Carolina really ever. I mean, she goes there and she's there for a couple of weeks, but she certainly doesn't have the commitment level herself to be at a property and farm unless she's going to stay there. I don't, I mean, so (laughs) again, living in a farming community and having a lot of farmers as neighbors, farming is, it's hard to make a living off farming. Most of my neighbors that have farms also have jobs because the market is so unstable and it's hard to make a living unless you have a huge farm. So they have full-time jobs, but then they also have the farms and you have to have a lot of your free time dedicated to the farm. So there's always something to do at the farm, literally. I mean, there's always, if you have animals, there's always an animal to feed. There's always the land that needs to be tended to, watered, 
fertilized. I mean, twice a year where I live, it smells like horse manure because they fly, like they spray down manure because it adds fertilizer. It's like a natural fertilizer for the soil here. So you, you can't just like haphazardly walk into a farm and just not dedicate the time. You'd have to be making this a career of sorts. Like you would have to be willing to commit to this is what I'm trying to say. So if she's going to continue her lifestyle of like constantly traveling, that's going to be tough if you want to use this and grow or convert it to property to grow and to have like a farm and then trees around it. If it's more for like hunting, I could see that being an easier property to maintain because you really don't have to do a whole lot if you're just using it for hunting. I don't know what kind of wildlife they would have in this specific area. I'm sure quite a bit because it's swampy and I'm sure there's all kinds of things you can kill in that area. I know in my neighbor's areas, we people farm, people actually hunt on their farms and there's deer, they have ducks and um, various birds, turkeys that they can hunt throughout the throughout the season there's tons of different hunting opportunities here I can only imagine it's like I think there's like wild boars in North Carolina I don't even know I'm sure there's all kinds of deer but if it was a hunting property it would make sense because then it's low maintenance you don't have to do anything other than use it for hunting but the fact that there's there the 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 land is listed as Tata Farms tells me that they want to be planting there And once you start planting on a lot of acres, that becomes like a commitment because it's expensive to not only clear land. I mean, it's very expensive to clear wooded land. I'm I'm not sure if anyone's aware of that. So if they want to make any of this land suitable to grow, they're going to have to spend a ton of money to remove trees. Then once the trees are removed, they have to get the soil ready so that plants will grow. And once that's all done, it's expensive to grow you've got to buy seed you have to buy equipment you have to buy tractors and tills and whatever you're going to do I mean there's so much farming equipment that you need I literally get stuck behind huge tractors and huge fertilize fertilizer spreaders when I drive that's the world I live in and it's not cheap so again I don't know what their plans are it's for sure in the state that it's in not ideal to become a farm today they have to do a lot of work to prepare it and if they want to grow plants they could cut down trees i guess and sell trees i mean that's a whole thing they could have a tree farm maybe that's what they're going to do i mean you could make a lot of money selling trees interesting so this is what her plans are she's got 156 acres in north carolina her daughter her son-in-law and her are jointly owning this property together no mortgage, elusive company, Tata Farms LLC is the owner. And what they're going to do with it is remains to be seen. What do you think she's going to do? Is it going to be a hunting property? Are they going to sell trees? Is it going to be a tree farm? Like, what are they doing here? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. Bye guys.